In this video, I want to talk to you about three telltale signs that it's time for your marketing team to start a video series for your business coming up. What's going on, everybody? My name is Karim Mustafa. I'm co-founder and CEO of Tribe Tactics. And in this series of videos, we basically want to give you everything that you need to be able to plan and grow your very own original series uh, for your business. And today we're going to be talking about the three telltale signs that it is actually time and a rather perfect timing for your business to start uh, creating a video show and specifically for your marketing team uh, to take the lead on that. So here they are. The first one is your marketing team is spread thin. They have so much stuff on their plate. They have like a hundred things on their plate across like content creation, across content distribution, which is a totally different thing, right? Um, across like engaging with your, um, your community on social, uh, following up with leads that come from your website, nurturing campaigns, emails, stra strategy meetings, reporting calls, so on and so forth. There's so much stuff and the list is not getting any smaller anytime soon, right? So when you actually create a video series, you're able to take one component of that, which is content creation, and actually have that have a positive effect on all of the other, or at least many of the other components. For example, in terms of content creation itself, you'll be able to help them save a lot of time which will help them to be not as spread thin anymore uh, by actually packaging their, the content strategy as essentially a show strategy, whereby all their focus is pretty much going towards creating video episodes, which can then uh, be used to build thought leadership, used to build traffic, used to generate leads, so on and so forth. So that's one of the first telltale signs, right? So being spread thin. The second thing is that they're not seeing as much results from the existing content that's being posted as much as they thought they, they would be seeing. So again, you know, when it comes to video uh, show creation, it again comes to the rescue here because you're very easily able to actually take each episode that you create and repurpose that into tons of additional content pieces. So let's say you, for example, have a, um, a current conversion rate from traffic to leads of let's say 1%. Even if no improvement happens on this conversion rate, Assuming that the same conversion rate uh, is applied to all the repurposed content pieces that you would have been able to easily create from a video show, you can already start to see how your results can start to compound simply by making the decision to create that video series and of course repurpose each episode further from there. So that's the second telltale sign, which is essentially uh, not seeing as much results from the content as uh, was initially expected. The third point then, uh, the third telltale sign is that you guys are in a competitive landscape, especially during COVID. There's a lot of businesses that uh, pretty much blew up overnight. A lot of industries that have become a lot more competitive almost overnight, seemingly. And they all tend to be posting a lot of copycat content. They're all kind of doing the same thing. If, you, if that's your industry, if you notice that, maybe creating a thought leading video series for your specific niche, for your specific audience, could be a great way to help you stand out from the crowd and do something completely different that will naturally uh, turn heads and um, direct people towards your brand overall. Um, not to mention that uh, once you actually do that, it could be, you know, when, when you think of all the other uh, items that we just talked about, for example, repurposing that content, or for example, just uh, making sure that you're able to actually free up uh, time from your team so that they can actually focus on other strategic uh, priorities in addition to this show strategy, this is a great way to be able to really uh, win on all levels because you're able to make your content strategy or rather your show strategy a lot more tidy and organized and you've designed it in a way that it impacts all of the other goals so it just becomes a lot more productive from the get-go. And one of the things that I just want to uh, cover at the very end to, to wrap this all together is you know this notion of creating shows and, and video series we call that episodic content and we've actually built an episodic content framework that you can check out to figure out exactly how your marketing team can plan produce repurpose and distribute the episodic content or the episodes from your upcoming video series and again like uh we're actually going to put uh, put a link to the episodic marketing video so that you can check that out where we go through that for framework from start to finish uh, but definitely uh consider these three telltale signs as great opportunities, great excuses for you guys to do something different and to start building that video series that maybe has been on your mind for a while. So to summarize, it's if your team is uh, spread thin, 
if your team is not seeing as much results from content as they expected. And lastly, if you guys are in a competitive space and you feel like everyone's kind of pretty much doing a bit of the same thing, this could be a great way for you guys to help get back a lot of time and be able to compound your results in a way that differentiates you as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Please let me know what you thought in the comments wherever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.